what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel it's me Antonio back with another video today saying what's up with you guys how's it going how's everything been sitting with you guys coming into the end of the year hopefully everybody's doing good everybody's safe everybody's healthy you know the dark flu season is right around the corner <laughs> make sure you got your zinc vitamin c and vitamin d stay healthy drink your tea sip your soups but i wanted to talk to you guys today about um saving money whoever this message would be for it doesn't matter if you have um, you know a little bit of money a lot of money money can always um you know have you distracted on, on certain things and you know you look at your bank account and you're like okay why why what's up what's up with my bank account why i, I keep getting money drafted out of, my, out of my bank account it's because there's so many apps nowadays whether it's through your phone or through your gaming console your computer your tv it's just so much marketing being thrown to you even if like your children get a hold get a hold of like your cell phone or something like that get a hold of your cable remote they can order crazy ton amounts of movies and shows <laughs> that cost money and things like that and it's made that way for a reason simply for these simple mistakes to get made and have your money be drafted out of your account and you not need not even know about it most of these you know services subscription services i guess you would call them that have you start a free trial and then start drafting money out of your account within two weeks or 30 days so you always want to be mindful of um how you spend your money if you're looking for ways to save money you should do what i do <laughs> i don't really subscribe to um you know we live in an internet age everything on the internet is free you can find everything you want Line. as long as you got a cell phone or a laptop or tablet or anything like that most people have a cell, a cell phone so go on, on your phone and watch, watch anything like me I know where to go to find specific clothes or specific music or food or items and things like that so I don't have a problem with certain things like that but you know cutting away all these subscription services like sorry this video was actually just it's it's early in the morning <laughs> away from my early walk i washed my face and brushed my teeth and went out the door so i didn't even prepare it but you know me again I, I was never a note taker in class i always just like to flow but um yeah to, you know i took a look at you know some bank account statements before I started this process and I'm like okay there's $12 for Netflix there's $12 for, for Hulu there's $15 for Disney there's you know amongst other things as well there's so many other subscription services I mean if guys if you know if you play PlayStation or Xbox you know you have to have the gold membership or the PlayStation Plus just to, just to play online with your friends gym memberships you know how much money you spend on food every day i remember at one point this year i was spending like maybe 50 bucks on i was spending more than that i was spending like 200 dollars a day and it was half that was on food basically <laughs> a day so you know it was never like that but i got to the point to where i was spending so much money i forgot that i used to you know you used to spend five ten dollars a day on lunch <laughs> So, you know, when you start to see your money look weird, you definitely want to check those things. Uh, you want to keep in mind how much you're, you know, you're driving around, how much gas you're spending. You want to fill your tank up once a week. You don't want to fill your gas tank up multiple times in a week. You know, where are you driving? Especially during Corona. Like, where are you going? That's what I don't understand. Like, where are these people going? You know gym memberships i think i said that uh, most people have like you know the 401k drafting out of their um check when they get paid or they pay for health insurance 
you know, if you're a healthy, the, the weird part about it is if you're a healthy person, you don't need health insurance. That's where the trick comes from. If you're a healthy person, you don't need health insurance. Now, if you're an unhealthy person, yeah, you better get the best health insurance from your job you can get. But if you don't go to the, some people have health insurance and don't even use it. You'll have, you'll pay for health insurance for a whole year, two years, and don't even go one time that year. So that's another place that your money. If you don't want to get health insurance, don't get it. You can always, you know, go to the hospital. So the health insurance is one of them. Then most companies that you work for, most of these corporate jobs you work for, try to tell you that they'll give you 401k and they can match you and all these things. Literally take your money out of account and put it into a, a separate, uh, a separate account that they also donate money to for you but when you take money out of your 401k they tax you on it like you're penalized for taking money out of your 401k or your retirement plan early now that's weird you can put money into your your account or should i say they can automatically draft money out of your account and put it into a 401k but when you're ready to take money out of it when you have an, an emergency or you need to pay something you can't do that how weird is that? Or at least they're gonna penalize you for. <laughs> like that's that's weird. But people don't even realize all all these companies are doing is investing money into the stock market for you. That's all you they're really doing. And if you're a person with a smidget of intelligence, you can go you can go on the stock market and you can pick out your own stocks. There's a study that you can look up online where they took a class of monkeys and had them randomly throw darts at different stocks. And guess what? The monkeys did better than most of the so-called financial specialists. So it's not about what stocks you pick. It's just about being consistent and not letting people cheat you out of your money. You know, these companies that have you working for 40, 50 years and then at the end of the day, you don't even feel like you got a decent payout. So watch where your money's going. You want to think of it like a, a water faucet. Some people like turning their water, water faucet on water faucet on full blast. But you're not supposed to do that. It's a slow drip, especially when it comes to money. You gotta have a slow drip. Turn off, you know, tighten your faucet up on certain on the, these certain things you think that you need that you really don't need. Stop that water from flowing so hard. Get rid of these subscriptions that you don't need. Get rid of all these, you know, friends and family members that you don't need. That just drain the water out of your water faucet. Turn your water faucet off, man. Stop letting your money drain out of your account so fast. You know, it's okay to have a slow drip. Or, you know, when you sit there in front of you in your bathroom sink with the water running while you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> At least that makes sense. You know, why you make it, why you spending money, make money. You know, don't take a day off from work. On like your birthday or something like that, just to go spend money. Like, what what sense does that make? You take you take a day off, making money to go spend money. But there's more ways than one that uh, one can express or explain. You know the situation with um, you know saving money, making money, making sure you have you know that that bank account with that extra five hundred or thousand dollars sitting somewhere with that credit card that you just got sitting somewhere with that extra thousand two thousand dollars on it that you never swipe but um yeah just keep in mind again you want to think of it as a running water faucet you know the more you're spending money the more that water faucet is running you want to tighten it up get rid of a lot of these things that don't really serve you well things that you don't really need and you don't have to sit in front of Netflix every day. You don't have to go out and eat chicken wings and fries every day. You don't have to buy the, the newest, hottest pair of Jordans or iPhone every time it comes out. You know, you want to think ahead, especially now during this time, the black flu season. You need to be taking some of that money to the dollar store or to the... The vitamin store and stocking up on vitamins because 2021 right around the corner and they ain't did nothing but practice on the American citizens. It's a recreation of the Black Plague, Spanish flu, 
and every other type of respiratory illness that wiped out millions of people every hundred years. It's every hundred years. It's not every, oh, 500 years ago, they wiped out half the... No, if you really look at what's going on, something like this happens every 50 to 100 years, really every 100 years. You think about the last time something crazy like this happened was in the 1920s around the Spanish flu time. This is nothing new. This is all planned. But um, I'm not even sure I'm doing the same video. I wanted to talk to you guys today about saving money. And I ended up going off on a tangent. But um, I think that's going to be enough for right now. I uh, wanted to get a good video in for you guys this uh, week. Stay refreshed. Stay consistent. More content coming soon. Um, and you guys be safe. Have a good one.